Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Darkroom, and this video is going to cover what happens when you get an order in the Vend photo cart system. And we're going to go ahead and log into the back end of Vend, and we are going to click on the orders button. So you might have received an email that said, hey, you got an order in, go check it out in the back end of Vend. And I am now in the back end of Vend in the orders tab where I have my recent orders and my statistics and reporting. And the first thing we're going to cover are the recent orders. So this here is a list of the recent orders that we received in and it tells you the set ID, uh, the date that you received it, how you, uh, how they actually paid for it, whether they paid for credit card or paid offline, um, if shipping has been involved, the, the amount that, that was paid versus the amount that you made as far as profit, the client's name and contact information. And um, when I click on any one of these, I can see what the invoice view looks like and this is what the your client actually received once they placed the order so I'm going to click view invoice and I'm going to show you what uh, a general invoice looks like um, and it has your print logo that you added in a video before this and um, you'll notice that when they print it out it, it prints web ready and it has all the order information in here you can you can use this at when you're shipping the order out if you wanted to, to throw it on top as kind of a checklist for your clients uh, but generally this is what they see as an invoice so these professional invoices get automatically created on the fly and this is what your client sees as soon as they place the order so now let's go and see what happens how do I fulfill the order so let's go ahead and click view output and the view output screen will show us the actual order in a visual way so it gives us all the client information and all the pricing information but then it shows us the order one by one uh, as far as what images have been ordered and for instance this image comes in and it's a uh, quantity of one at an 8 by 10 it's landscape black and white glossy they asked you to retouch this image it was an option that we offered in the in the cart um, as the photographer and the comment uh, that they added is right here that is associated with that image so if you scroll down you'll see all the images that um, are are associated with this order in a, in a visual capacity so you can you know kind of get a sense of what they ordered and then for very quick workflow we've added in this list of image names so the list of image names are all the images from from the packages to the products to the a la carte to everything so if it's a really big order that's gonna have a lot of image names and you can actually just copy and paste that into whatever product you're using to find your images you know whether it's Lightroom or whatever to quickly find all the images and start pulling them in so that you can edit them and do whatever you need to do to them to get them to your your photo lab um, this is only going to work if the name of the images that you've uploaded are the same name as the images the high resolution images on your hard drive so if you're renaming your web ready images know that this won't work um, but if you keep them all the same then this will work just fine we've also uh, made it a little bit easier and, and broke this list up down here by size so if you're looking to just grab the images that are three by six and work on those first and batch size them and so on in Photoshop or whatever program you're going to use you can actually just work on them groups at a time and um, and that is essentially the order checklist right here so even when you get the order you can come through and and flip through the images before you ship it out to your client and you can see um, make sure that this is your checklist of everything that is supposed to be in the order so now that you know how the ordering system works um, we're gonna go ahead and show you a couple of extra features on here um, you can click on a client and you can email them um, you can delete them so if it was a test and um, and and you know you want to just get rid of it you don't want it to clog up your system here you can just delete it you can export data as CSV and this is just kind of a data dump so if you use some sort of third-party software to track your sales or, or whatever it is and and you need some of this information uh, you can do that if you don't know what this is chances are you don't need it it's somewhat of an advanced thing so I'd recommend if you don't know what it is just go ahead and stay away from it and then um, you do have the search function here so um, I can check the different dates um, I can type in the the client's name or their email address um, I can search by order ID and so on so I'm just gonna search by a client name here there maybe they're on the phone and I'm trying to pull up their order real quick and and boom I can I can find it right here so essentially this is this is where you come when you have to fulfill an order and you need to find out what's going on with a client's order the statistics and reporting is a little bit more about well how am I doing with the photo cart am I making money um, what kind of sales tax am I collecting and so on so I can go ahead and come in here and I can change these dates and have a date range um, to search by and I can apply these dates and it'll give me the graph and let me know what my net profit is versus the gross sales 
um, you know what kind of discount codes how that's been affecting my sales and so on it gives you a quick chart here um, but then it gives you the subtotal the uh, the discounts that you've been given away and it, it kind of gives you a ratio of hey I've been giving away some but have I been making a profit and it shows you all your information from shipping and handling to your net profit here and then on this right side is all of our tax collected information so in a previous video in in the pricing area we set up all our tax information and this lets us know what our our tax liability is and what we have to send to the government and so on. So this is great when your accountant says, well, you know, what are, what are we sending to the what are we sending to the government as far as tax collection collection? And you should definitely talk to your accountant about about this and let them know that you have this type of reporting in here. And so you can go by dates and 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 know what you have uh, what what your what you have to send in. Um, now you probably won't have this many different areas that you're collecting tax for, but you know, one, two, three, and four. Um, what it, whatever it is that you do will be right here. So it's a really quick, easy way for at the end of the month, end of the quarter, end of the year to know what your tax liability is and what you actually have to send in to uh, the government. So that is uh, recent orders and statistics under the orders tab and that kind of gives you a quick overview of what it is and how to use it. I hope that was informative and if you have any additional questions please don't hesitate to contact us through our support. Uh, you can go to intothedarkroom.com and I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks so much.